What's going on guys and welcome back to Cheap Tool Reviews, the channel that reviews the cheapest tools from eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, you name it and we'll review it guys. And of course if you're new to the channel, don't forget hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. We try to upload videos every Wednesday guys, I understand we didn't upload for a while but we're back and we're coming out strong right out of the gate guys. Trying to find the best tools that we can find relatively cheap so we can you know continue the channel. And of course guys as you guys know we got the 500 subscriber giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers and another one at a thousand so we got two giveaways coming up all you have to do is uh like comment and share this video with somebody that you know and let us know in the comments that you've done that so we know to enter you in the in the raffle um no purchase necessary or anything like that guys and of course let me know if you guys want us to set up something so you guys can donate to the channel so we can continue to buy all these tools and you know continue to give this great content but like always guys thank you to all the subscribers that we have right now and that we continue to get you guys you know really show the support for the channel and, you know, we really do read the comments, so if there's anything you guys want us to review, let us know, and we're going to try our best to get to it. So, let's go ahead and get started with this review. <clears throat> this was actually the cheapest uh, tool we can find on Amazon. And, you know, Amazon's a little bit more pricey just because of the Prime and, you know, shipping and whatnot. But we understand, but we do come across some that are, you know, really good prices on Amazon that they actually beat eBay and all those sort of uh, other competitors. But let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. We got the Primax 20 volt saw. Supposedly two year warranty. Uh, let's see, uh, 4,000 RPM, 115 millimeter blade. Uh, the angles, it does angles. Lithium uh, ion battery, a laser, and it comes with some blades in here. So the thing with this one, there was another one, guys. It was actually like a couple bucks cheaper, but the thing was, it didn't come with any blades. We figured for like around five dollars more it came with three blades i think that was the best bang for your buck which you know which is why what which is what we have here so uh this was 115 dollars shipped so this is actually beats uh anything that we've reviewed on the channel as the most expensive this is the most expensive cheap tour reviews that we've done so far so let's get started with this unboxing all right so we got the instruction manual we got the blade. How many blades are in here? Oh, it's a couple. Let's check it out. We got a saw blade, a diamond blade, tile back, tile, and cement board, a wood blade, and I don't know what this one's for. Soft metal and plastic. That's pretty nice. And the instruction manual, of course. We got the charger itself. Uh, it looks like one of those generic chargers, you know, stuff that comes with a lot of the Chinese tools. One of the batteries, wow, it's a big battery. One of the batteries, kind of reminds me of the AutoGer battery. I think I have one of the AutoGers here, so I'm gonna try and see if that plugs into, because the this looks just like that, so we'll see if that does anything. We got, oh, vacuum attachment, so if you have a shop vac, you wanna connect so you can collect all the dust while you're cutting, has the attachment for that. And, oh my. And the actual tool itself. I guess, uh, yeah, so there's a laser here. So when you're cutting, you know, you're able to follow the line, which is pretty nice because I've used small battery powered circular saws with no laser. And it's hard trying to keep the line going because the, the saw dust gets all on it and, you know, you kind of go off track a little bit. And this one here is for to keep it squared. So if you're following a line, you set this to that um, angle or that straight line glides on the side of the wood and you know you get yourself a nice clean cut <clears throat> but for the tool itself it's it's front heavy real front heavy um let's see if we plug the battery into here so let's see how much charge it got oh fully charged supposedly because that's what all the chinese batteries say uh i wonder if it's a uh max cutting depth 20 volt no load speed so i don't know if this is a brushless motor in here or anything like that just a little i don't know but it has a laser laser works i don't know if you can see that on there but laser works 
So I assume, I don't know if there's batteries in there that you'd have to change event. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, so as its own batteries, I guess inside here, there's no wire that this is running off the battery or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, guys. We're gonna put a, a uh, wood saw blade on here and we're gonna go outside and go cut some wood, some two by four, some plywood and see how this handles. It claims the battery's fully charged, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and go outside, guys. I'll set this all up and we'll continue the video. All right, guys, so we're outside. We got the tool all set up, guys. Uh, hopefully the audio is good because the microphone's a little bit further because these tools are pretty loud. Uh, we did get the auto jar impact. We tried to put the battery on here. It looked the same, but the, the connection and all that stuff is a little bit different. So I was hoping maybe this company got the same tools like where auto jar did because all the auto jar videos have been pretty good. So we're going to start. We got a couple pieces of wood. We got a two by two, two by four, two by six, and some I think three quarter inch plywood. Something common that a lot of you guys are going to use for, you know, doing stuff like this. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm not going to be drawing a straight line and trying to go straight. I'm not a carpenter, so the line might, you know, be a little crooked. But like always, guys, safety first. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this first test. I mean, there's enough power to cut through that, but, you know, let's keep... Not bad, good, nice clean cut. Let's go ahead and start with this two by four. Not bad. With the battery, guys, it's, uh, it seems to have leveled out the weight, so it is a lot better, uh, more balanced now compared to with no battery. Got a two by six. Not bad, cutting up pretty good. And I know, guys, a lot of things gonna say it has to do with the blade and all that, but I mean, it has enough power to cut through, through these woods, so. I'm going to get on this plywood here. A little bit longer strip. And then we'll go for this longer piece. Actually, not that bad you know of course I don't know if somebody that's got carpenter is gonna be using this 24 7 how long it would last but you know for people that are just that need it every now and then it's not bad uh, it does have the angles and whatnot so it's not of course I have to loosen all this stuff up to figure it out but um, so far with just the woods that I've cut you know it did a couple pieces just hasn't been bad too far all right guys so we're gonna continue the testing guys. We're gonna use every blade in this uh, kit. This one we got the soft metal or plastic. We're not gonna try and cut through metal. We're gonna cut through a piece of plastic. I assume this is what most people would use this for, you know, piping and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, this tool. Not bad. Cuts pretty nice. Not all, uh, you know, all jagged or anything like that. Not bad at all. So we're gonna go ahead and change up the blade. And we're gonna cut a piece of tile. No idea if it'll cut this tile. It's a glass tile. But if not, I'll grab another piece of tile and we'll try it on a different one. All right, guys. So we got the tile back backer board cement uh, blade on here. So we're gonna cut this piece of tile see if it uh, works I mean hopefully it doesn't break the tile because I mean I'm not too experienced with cutting tile you know just like this I normally use a tile cutter but we'll figure it out here we go
So I assume it's because this is a this is a glass tile, and it was cutting it. Probably a regular porcelain tile might work a little bit better, but this is all I had to test it on. Um, let me go look for another piece of tile, guys. Give me a second. All right, guys. So we just tried with that uh, glass tile. We're gonna try with this more common, I would assume, more common porcelain tile. We're gonna cut this and see if it cuts it. Probably has something to do with the blade. I mean, it will cut it, but it's gonna leave a jagged edge like that. So probably you might want to get yourself another blade if you're gonna do something like this. I probably I wouldn't recommend it for this. But for the other test that we did, the, the wood and the plastic, it worked pretty good for that. But for this, the blade more than likely, you know, is probably that or the. It wasn't really cutting that good. I had to give it a good amount of push. So I don't know if this motor really has enough strength to do that, but. Let's go ahead and go inside, guys. We're gonna, you know, I'm gonna let you know what the good and the bad of the tool is, and you know, let you know if this is a tool for you, for your friends. All right, guys. So we're back inside, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the review right here. As you guys saw, cutting wood, no problem. Plastic, no problem. The tile had a little bit of problem. I thought maybe it was because I was cutting a glass tile. Changed it over to the different type of tile. I apologize if it's not porcelain, but I assume that's what that was. Um, I mean, maybe it has something to do with the blade. But even if you change the blade. I don't know if this motor has the capacity to be able to cut something of that, you know, um, hardness. But other than that, it was a it was a pretty good tool. Uh, another thing is it's mainly meant for right-handed people because you can see here, you know, easy to do that versus right-handed, you know, you'd have to press it and then um, do that. But you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys that are left-handed are used to that type of uh, thing. But other than that, the tool itself is, it's well balanced. It's not bad at all. Once the battery's on there, because if without the battery, you know, it's top heavy. Um, 20 volt battery. I didn't get the chance to see if this was a brushless or brushed motor. I think it's brushed because when I hit the trigger, I can see, um, I can see the little light coming out from inside of there. So I think it's brushed. Um, the laser, I couldn't use in the daylight. It's not strong enough. It, you know, if it's nighttime it'll work or in a, you know, darker lit room. But outside, can't see it at all. The charger, you know, it's a cheaper charger, more just a lot of plastic. No idea how fast it'll charge that battery, but this is what they supply you with. And the vacuum um, attachment, I didn't try it, but I would assume it would work just fine as it's right in that spot there to collect the, the dust. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll leave a link in the description for this tool. And let me know of any tools that you guys want us to review. We got a bunch of tools coming up for you guys. We know we'll test anything, guys. Just let us know in the description. And if we can get it, we will do it, guys. So, like I said, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos, guys. Thank you so much. See you next week. Okay. And the 500 sub giveaway, guys. So, don't forget, enter in that for a chance to win something. We don't exactly know what, but we're kind of leaning towards something good for you guys. Of course, we're not going to give you something that a tool that didn't work. We're going to try and uh, give you something new for yourself, guys. So, um, but more on that when we get there. So it's not in uh, concrete yet. We're still working on it guys, but thanks so much and see you next week.